Welcome back to Beauty Dose, your go-to podcast for all things beauty. Whether you're new to makeup or looking to build a solid foundation, today's episode is all about the must-have essentials. These are the five makeup products that can help you achieve a polished look without overwhelming you with too many steps. By the end of this episode, you'll know exactly what to pick up on your next beauty haul. Starting with our first essential, a good foundation or tinted moisturizer. Think of this as the base layer that ties your whole look together. If you want a more natural finish, a tinted moisturizer or BB cream can give you that sheer coverage with a hydrated glow. It's perfect for days when you just want a bit of polish without feeling heavy. But if you're looking for more coverage, go with a foundation that matches your skin tone. Now, here's a tip when picking your shade, try matching it to your neck instead of your face, as the neck often has a more consistent tone. And if you're shopping in store, apply a small amount to your jawline or wrist, wait a few minutes, and check it in natural light if possible. Second on the list is concealer. This is truly a game changer, especially for those days when you didn't quite get your eight hours of sleep. Look for a concealer that's one to two shades lighter than your foundation for under the eyes, as this brightens the area and brings a more awake look to your face. For blemishes or redness, choose a concealer that matches your skin tone closely. Here's a pro tip for longer lasting wear. Apply a small amount of powder over your concealer to keep it from creasing or fading throughout the day. Moving on to the eyes. This is where a neutral eyeshadow palette comes into play. Now, I know there are so many beautiful palettes out there and it can be overwhelming. But when you're starting out, it's best to stick with a palette that has a mix of matte and shimmer shades in neutral tones like browns, taupes and creams. With these shades, you can create an everyday look with just a wash of color or build up the darker tones for a more dramatic, smoky eye. If you're feeling playful, Go ahead and add a little shimmer to the center of your eyelids or inner corners. It's an easy way to brighten your eyes and make them pop without much effort. Let's talk about brows. They say eyebrows frame the face, and that couldn't be more true. Even on days when you're going for a low-key look, defined brows can add a lot of structure and polish to your face. For beginners, a brow gel or pencil is ideal. Brow gels are fantastic if you already have full brows and just need a little hold and color, while a pencil is great if you need to add some shape or fill in sparse areas. Start by making short, light strokes to mimic the look of natural hairs, and then brush them out with a spoolie to soften any harsh lines. A little tip when applying brow product, don't start at the very front of your brow. Instead, start a little further in and work your way out. This gives a more natural, blended look and avoids that overly filled, blocky appearance. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about lip products. For beginners, I recommend having a versatile lip product that works for multiple occasions like a tinted lip balm or a classic lipstick in a shade close to your natural lip color. Lip tints, balms or creamy lipsticks are ideal because they're quick and easy to apply. Plus, they keep your lips hydrated. If you want something that lasts all day, you could try a matte, liquid lipstick, but just remember to prep your lips with a lip scrub or balm to avoid any dryness. A great way to make your lips look fuller is to use a lip liner that's slightly darker than your natural lip color and blend it with a lipstick or balm you're using. This adds a soft, fuller effect without looking overly done. And before we wrap up, here are a few additional tips to make these essentials work even better for you. Firstly, don't underestimate the power of good tools. A makeup sponge or basic set of brushes can make all the difference in applying foundation, blending eyeshadow, and creating a more polished look overall. Another tip is to play around with each product on its own to see what you like. Wear just concealer and lip balm one day, or maybe just your brow gel and foundation. This will help you understand how each product can enhance your features individually. And finally, take your time. Makeup is all about experimenting and having fun. The more you practice, 
the more confident you'll feel in your routine. And that wraps up today's episode on Beauty Dose. With these five essentials in your makeup bag, you'll have all the basics covered for any occasion, from a natural daytime look to something more polished for the evening. Remember, makeup is a journey, and there's no rush to master everything at once. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe for more beauty tips and tricks. Until next time, stay beautiful and confident.